I get to work, first thing I do is turn on my email, and I discovered this one. I, I didn't know who it was from. My coworker sent you that email by mistake. And I was like, here's another R.P. Salazar. Imagine that. And so I forwarded it. I wrote a little message. Hi, Rachel. It seems as if this message came to me instead of you. I'm in Waco, Texas, USA. Have a great day. P.S. How's the weather there in Bangkok? I replied to you, weather in Bangkok is lovely. Gracias, Rachel. So we began a chain of emails. The first couple of emails, you started describing yourself, and that kind of encouraged me to be open about myself, too. I was excited that this person is halfway around the world. It's kind of like sending a letter in a bottle. I happened to hover my mouse over your name on one of those emails, and a picture of you popped up. I was like, wow, she's really beautiful. How can I make this picture bigger? <laughs> I would stay up late at night, which was your morning, and we would chat for like four or five hours. You had started to play an important role in my life, even before I consciously realized it. I knew that I was falling in love, but there's still that tiny little bit of doubt that this might not work because we're 8,000 miles away from each other. But at some point, I finalized my plans to visit the U.S. And you didn't tell anyone? Because everyone would tell me, you're foolish to go halfway across the world to meet some strange guy you have not met. That would be crazy. And on my end, every relative, every friend, co-worker, everyone knew. <laughs> we were together for eight days. We were dancing one night, and you mentioned something to the fact that... You know, I said that you were the sweetest guy I've ever met. I knew right at that moment, I need to say something or do something so that I don't lose her. And so I got on my knee and asked you to marry me. Deep in my heart, I knew it was coming, and it was the right thing, and it was the best thing. People didn't believe me when I told them I proposed to Rachel. Some of them had second thoughts for me, followed by five minutes of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> They now all tell us, you're perfect for each other. <laughs> you found the right match. <laughs> 